Hey everybody, Patton here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to play TurboGrafx-16 games on your mini system. Since the TurboGrafx-16 mini hasn't been officially hacked yet, this is a good alternative. Quick recap on how to mod your mini. The first step is to go to HackGCE and go into the Kernel tab. Click Install Repair. Click Yes on the next window. Connect your mini system to your PC. While holding Reset, Power On, and HackG will do the rest. You see the green light in the bottom left corner, you're good to go. First thing we want to do is go to the Modules tab and to the KMFD Mod Hub. Go to the KMFD RetroArc tab, select your version of RetroArc, then click Download Module. Next, go to the KMFD Cores tab. We're going to scroll down till we get to the NEC section. Here we go. The core we're looking for is Mednafin PCE Fast. Once again, Download Module. Close out the Mod Hub, go back to the Modules tab, and install extra modules. Put a check mark next to Mednafin PCE and RetroArc, then click OK at the bottom. Once everything's installed, you'll get this done message. To add your games, highlight them, drag them directly into HackG. HackG will automatically populate the box art, description, and change the command line for you. The last step is to hit the Synchronize Selected Games with Mini button at the bottom, or export to USB if you're using external storage. And that's all there is to it. Remember, if you need any assistance with getting this working, you can go to the Rockin' the Classics Discord server or subreddit for help. Let's head over to the SNES Classic and take a look. Here we have Devil's Crush, a fan favorite. Looks like it started up fine. Seems to be running great, destroying all the demons. Next up is Newtopia, which is a really good, I'd say Zelda clone. I was going to say there's some things that makes it stand out from Zelda, but there's not really a lot. It's 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 pretty much a Zelda clone. And I'll tell you now, the game is running fine. There's just a lot of story to get through before you actually get to play the game. But it runs great. And that's it. Remember, if you have any questions on getting this stuff running, you can go to the Rock and the Classics Discord server or subreddit for help. That's all I got for you guys. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.